For Wendy Weaver, it's been nearly three years since she first paid Jason Pearl $28,000 to help rebuild the deck and stairs outside her Confluence home. She says she and her husband did their research ahead of time and only paid Pearl for materials. The night before he was to begin, I started getting text messages that said it was his wife claiming he'd had a heart attack and that he was not going to be able to start. Weaver says she actually sent Pearl a get well card, but soon realized that was the first in a string of lies. He was premeditated. He's a predator and he preyed particularly on older people. In the years since, Jason Pearl has been charged in 15 similar cases across three counties. He's accused of taking well over $250,000. In court Friday, Pearl pled guilty, admitting to stealing from customers in eight of those cases across Fayette County. Jason, anything you want to say to the people that you pled guilty to stealing from today? And while Pearl didn't have anything to say, Weaver has plenty, wanting to make sure no matter how long Pearl spends in jail, he can't do this again. That's one of the reasons, you know, I contacted you. I want people to understand this man, if you hear of him in any way, shape or form, run, don't walk, run. Now, Pearl still has eight pending cases, seven in Westmoreland County and another in Somerset County. He's scheduled to be sentenced on these charges in late August. Reporting from Uniontown, Jim Madalinski, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.